All right, so we are gonna begin our landscape drawings thinking about trying to have some of the effects that we saw other artists in some of our examples. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a line for the ground, and that's something we've done before in the past. Um, it's outside, so it doesn't have to be a perfectly straight line. But we're gonna start calling this the horizon line, not just the ground line, the horizon line. It looks like where the sky and the ground touch. In real life, that doesn't actually happen, but if you look, it looks like the sky's gonna curve down and touch somewhere really far away. So I'm gonna use the side of this crayon and fill in the ground color. And something that you guys probably noticed when you were looking at examples from other artists is things in the background will get a little blurry. So colors often seem a little darker when they're further away from us. So I'm gonna try to do that effect on my ground color here. So I've got that green placed in there. It's kind of light because I use the side of the crayon so I'll be able to draw stuff on top of there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this green crayon and now I'm gonna go on top of that with a darker version of that same color. So I'm making this darker on the horizon line, but then I'm gonna move it down and as I move it down, I'm fading it. So as it comes closer to us, the color seems to get lighter and lighter. So you can do that with a darker version of the same color or even pressing harder with the same color. But I'm gonna try in the sky, I'm gonna try something where I use a color, so let's say that I wanna use this sort of purple color here. And I'm gonna fill in my sky. Now here I'm doing something a little different than what you saw on the ground. I'm using the side of the crayon, but I've left some holes showing here, here, and here. And to me, that shows the effect of cloud. So I think it works in the sky, but I don't think that would work if we did that on the ground. It would just look like spots where I missed it. So what I'm gonna do here to darken the sky on the parts that would be far away is I'm actually gonna switch to a different color. So I'm gonna use this darker blue. So I'm going to apply this up near the top where it would be further away. And as I come down, I'm gonna do that same effect where I fade the color away. So this is called blending our colors. So I'm gonna blend the colors as I come closer to the ground. All right, so you're gonna choose your colors and you're gonna get this started. Horizon line, fill in your ground, fill in your sky, blend those colors, and try leaving some of those empty spaces. We know those are called negative shapes, so leave some of those negative shapes for the clouds. 